really are. Lisa Coffey is here. We're ex so excited to have you. We've got your book, What's Your Dosha Baby? Yep. You were just at the Women's Expo, so that Loved was exciting. It. Fun time, yep. Good, good, good. Now let's talk about the book first. And there's ways that this all relates to what everyone is kind of talking about, the secret. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Ayurveda is the science of life. And Deepak Chopra and some other people talk, it, talk about it in terms of health and health care. And what I do is I talk about it in terms of the health of your relationships. This is ancient wisdom that totally applies today to everything we do. Okay, my question is, what is your dosha and what's a dosha? Okay, a dosha <laughs> is a mind-body type in Ayurveda. Right. And there are three of them, vata, pitta, and kapha. Vata is made up of air and space. Pitta is made up of fire and water. Kapha is made up of earth and water. Oh. So there's, you know, different personality types, different body types for each one. Easy to peg a person right away. Yeah, you pegged me right off the bat. Yep, you're a Vata, definitely. Yeah. And now what would Gail be? Uh, you look like a Kapha type, yeah. Kaphas are the most beautiful of the doshas. We've really? got Beyonce and J-Lo and And you know George Beyonce Clooney. steals all my ideas. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. <laughs> but they're very down to earth, very loving, very generous people. And and you can rely on them. They're very reliable people. So when you t when you by understanding this, how does it help you get or maintain a better relationship with your spouse or your... Or, or anyone for that Yeah, matter. it's in any relationship, parenting your kids right. or your in-laws or the people you work with. It's because Ayurveda teaches you to love what is, to be accepting and understanding and understand that this is the person that they are. You don't try to change them. You know, you wouldn't want a leopard to try to be uh, an elephant. You wouldn't want a swan to try to be a hummingbird. That is their nature. And then when you can express yourself in that best nature, then you can be healthiest and happiest. I like how she mentioned the workplace because that's a relationship that we have almost equal to the time we spend with the spouse. Mm -hmm. yes. So, you know, you really have to work on that. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's people everywhere in our lives. So you can go through this, and there's like a checklist, basically. If you're trying to figure yes. out what your spouse or boyfriend right. or friend is, right. you can find out by answering like 25 questions. Right. I've got a little quiz online at whatsyourdosha.com. Right. You can take the quiz. It's free, and it adds it all up for you, and it tells you exactly what your dosha so is. So I'll find out what my husband is, and that'll help me better understand maybe why he does a certain thing or exactly. doesn't do a certain thing. And instead of trying to change, you just say, okay, this is why he's acting this way, so that's yes. how the relationship works better. Yes, and when you bring out his good quality and bring out his balance, then you guys get along better too. So this isn't like astrology where it says, oh, you shouldn't be with a Taurus or anything. You just no. say, this is the type of person right. you are and this is how you adjust how you are to what they are? Right. There's no bad combinations. There's just different challenges and different strengths in each different relationship. Mm. So Do you find that that's what people are, it seems like they're always trying to change whomever they're with. Oh, and, yeah. And, and that's what I always find surprising when somebody's going to get married. It's like, well, I don't like that. Is, well, if you I'll don't like you. these things, I'll just change you can't you. change yeah. people. No, you can't change people. So better to understand them. Exactly. You're born with your dosha. Your dosha is not going to change. We are susceptible to environmental factors. Like we're in kapha season right now, so everybody's going to be a little more kapha we're going to have allergy problems and things like that in the summer it's pitta season so there's a little more fire so you want to balance out your pitta a little bit more but generally what you are is what you are and you're always going to be that way you know what i can testify to that when my children were born i swore within the first two weeks of life i could tell what kind of person i mean you really? can, exactly yeah. you peg them wow. even bruce says you can peg your kids that's so right. early as to what kind of child they're going to be exactly and that's kind of i guess that would be their dosha then. sure because you know they're not speaking at that point but you can right. kind of tell just oh, it attitudes. comes through loud and clear. Yeah. So when somebody says, what's your dosha, baby? It's not a pickup line. <laughs> well, I'm hoping it will be. <laughs> oh, you know? That'd be a great shirt. That's a great icebreaker. I've got shirts like that. Look at my site. I've got what's your dosha, baby shirts. Yeah, but it's like when you know somebody's dosha, you know so much information about them. You know, like if someone said, I'm an Aquarius, you're like, uh, what is that? You know, there's 12 different ones to remember. And you got to know their it's rising. It's the age of Aquarius. Yeah. Is that it? And then you got to know their rising sign and their moon sign. and Nobody blah, blah. knows all Who that. Who can remember that? Some people are stuff. really into it, but if you're not, you yeah. get lost. But the three doshas, you can remember that. You can just look at somebody and go, oh, they're this, and I know all this stuff Fire about them right away. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it's I amazing. Like that. That'll help in the workplace, too, if you can understand what that person you might not mm -hmm. be getting along with is, you yeah. can better handle them. Right. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Right. It's, it's nice how we start to get when it all starts to click, I know, and that's yeah. the secret. And that's oh. the secret. Now, have you guys read The Secret or think, seen the well, DVD? Seen, I've seen the DVD. Yeah. Yeah. It is pretty amazing, and, and the principles that are in The Secret are not new. These are age-old yeah. things, and a lot of them are the same things that are in Ayurveda. In Vedic philosophy, 
you know, they say, what do you want in a partner? Well, what we want in the West tends to be totally different than what people used to say in the East. You know, in the West, like us women, we'll be saying, okay, well, he has to have a job, he has to have a car, blah, blah. In Vedic philosophy, you want somebody who's honest, who's a good guy, you know, somebody who's going to treat you well. That's what you I think. And it worked. Thank you, Lisa. Great, Thank great. You. Don't forget, what's your dosha, baby? That'd be a next pick-up pick up line for Gail Bass. <laughs> and if you'd like more information on what we just talked about, of course, it's all on our hotline and on our website. Lisa Coffey, thank you again thank for being you. here.